Today we're looking at the G Gimundo 501 docking station. This was sent out to me by G Gimundo. I think that's how you say the name, don't hold me to it. I have covered a docking station in the past, but that was more of your PC docking station. This one's a bit more transportable and for laptop use as well. So let's open it up and see what you get inside the box. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the like, hit subscribe, stick around because we've got loads of stuff on the way, like this monitor behind me. But if you've been here before, the reason I've got this a bit more of a closer angle is because I've changed the office around and I don't want to spoil it until I do the reveal of the monitor coming shortly that's the reason it's quite close if you are new welcome how you doing leave it down in the comments below i'd love to start a conversation let's crack on with the unboxing pretty simple i mean you just crack open the top and it comes in the sleeve that's it, that, that's it. the unboxing experience isn't all that it's not like some crazy you know unboxing experience like most people think all unboxing experiences are they make it look fancy and jazzy on youtube and all that but really it's just simple straight to the point you get your little starter manual guide. And then on the back of the box, it gives you some little details about this. So basically, this is a five in one docking station. The transfer protocol is five gigabytes per second and it supports PD 60 watt charging. It is a HDMI 4K output an aluminium alloy and like I said the 5 gigahertz transfer speeds. This is the little device, it is actually minute and I love how small and compact it is. The reason this is perfect for laptops is you could get a bit of velcro and slaver it on the back there, stick it to the back of your MacBook, your Lenovo, your HP, your Dell, whatever laptop you're using. That will fit perfectly on the back and it won't take up any space. The tables are long enough for it to fit round, say it's on the back plate, it will fit round and go into the USB on the side so it's perfect length, you don't need it any longer. The longer cables the more messy it looks and just it gets annoying so on this side here you've got your usb out which is the 60 watts charging you've got your hdmi out which is the 4k and then on the other side you've got your two usb 2s which are at 480 megabytes per second and then the one usb 3 at the end here which is your five gigabytes per second and that's pretty much all the compatibilities this one has they have many others on their website where they have 15 in one docking stations eight in one docking stations, 12 in one docking stations. There's a crazy amount of docking stations this company hold. They're reliable, they are well made, like that's solid as a rock. Solid as a rock. I like this little design on the front here. It just gives it a bit more elegance towards the plain chassis. It does have it on the bottom as well. And then just at the bottom here, you have the little logo for G Gimundo. Cable is a USB-C, so you can also get an adapter from a USB-C to a USB-3 or whatever lightning cable you need. It's universal, it will work on every device that you throw it at. Uh, you can plug it into your phone. The only thing I miss on a docking station is an SD card slot. The one thing I think all docking stations need is definitely an SD card slot. If you haven't got that built in, you're missing out. You're definitely missing out if you haven't got the SD card slot because I use a lot of SD cards with my camera, with my job roll. You know, loaded tech comes in, I have to get the recordings, and I want to whack it straight onto my devices. I would use this a lot, lot more if it had the SD card slot, but because it doesn't, I tend to rarely use it when, you know, I've got a lot of stuff on the camera. This is more for if I'm transferring files over from a laptop to my PC on a USB stick, or if I wanna use it as a docking station to dual monitor my MacBook to a screen, like one of my portable monitors, then I can use this and it works wonders. And I'm not saying they don't have any docks out there with the SD card slot, it's just the one that I was sent out doesn't supply it. There is others out there. If you look on the website, link in the description, there is plenty of options on their website that have a stupid amount of ports. You've got ethernet ports, you've got SD card slots, you've got USBs, you've got HDMI's. You've even got ones that have display ports that support up to 8K footage at 60 frames per second. Like that's crazy. Such a little device like this, it is perfect for on the go if you are a USB kind of guy, you know, you like to hold on to your USB sticks. I tend to now go more for SD cards just because they're a bit quicker. Still do have USBs that I use on the regular so it still does come in handy, it's just not as much as I need it for SD cards. But anywho, I'm going on a tangent about SD cards, that's not what we want. Okay, so a quick little angle change, because we're going to go over some of the ports on here. We're going to use my iPad, this is the iPad Pro 12 inch, we're going to be using the USB-C port. And that's another good thing about this dock, because it has that USB-C extra there. When this is taking up that port and you need to charge, this will use the 60 watts charging. Power your device while also keeping this on the go, so you can use all of your appliances with it. What we're going to do is plug it into the iPad right now. Little blue light turns on, lets you know that's working. It says paired at the top here on the iPad. So what we're going to start off with trying out is the solid state drive by King Dian. This is a USB 3 to a USB C. So we're going to plug that directly into the USB 3 port, which is apparently five gigabytes per second. Plug that in there and come over and go into files 
and right there it says Callum AFK, so that shows up that it is working. What we're going to do from here is I'm going to take a video from one of my must-have texts. If I wanted to edit on the go on the iPad, I could just hold this down, copy over to my iPad here. I want to see how quick this transfers over while holding down and click paste. And that's done. That's already there. It's over. If I click it, it will work straight away. That's how fast this little thing is. Now, not only can it support the SSD, but what you can also add into this, because you have those two extra USB 2 ports, is you can add yourself in a mouse. You see the mouse is turned on. If you see that there is a little mouse cursor on there, and if I click something, it will open. There you go, roll clock. Now I can scroll up from the bottom, get rid of that. So not only can you use a mouse or an SSD, and you can actually plug in an external keyboard because there's another USB port there. So as you can see, that's turned on. I'm on the notes over here. If I start typing away, it will start typing within there. So not only have I got a usable working station with a keyboard, a mouse, a solid state drive that I can work directly from because the speeds are insane, but you've also got on the backside here, the USB-C and HDMI cable. So with the USB-C, if I take a power source, and plug that into the USB-C, that will now start charging the device. Plug it in, it starts to charge instantly. Now, unfortunately, I don't have my portable monitor with me, or else I would hook it up to show you that you can use every port on this, and it still does an amazing job. The last port on here is obviously the HDMI out, which you will then be able to plug into a second monitor. So you could potentially have a full-on office setup with two monitors and just using this little thing, which is powered by the device itself. There's no external power you need to plug into this to get it to work. You can obviously charge through the USB-C. You can have your SSD in the fast port and the two other USBs as a mouse and keyboard. Now let's switch back over and finish off this video. Pricing, let's go over pricing. So this little baby right here is coming in at a grand total of, run roll please. How much is it? <laughs> $11.99. For that little baby, that's less than a McDonald's meal. You're getting a full usable docking station for less than a, a damn burger meal at McDonald's. And I will say with a link that is down in the description for this, if you use that link, it is an affiliate link, so it does help me out by giving me a bit of commission. So I am very grateful for that if you've bought one. 11 pounds, I mean, what, 12 pounds, 11.99, whatever. If it's on sale as well, because they have a lot of sales going on, that's a decent price for something like this that you can take on the go and just use non-stop. Now, they do come in three different colors. You've got a gold, a gray, and a silver. I'm happy with it, you know, I, can, I can't fault it apart from the SD card slot, but that's just a different version. There's no actual negatives on this device personally. It's just, I didn't get a device with an SD card slot. That's all it was. But other than that, I mean, this is a fantastic little option for gamers that want a bit of extra storage or have a extra monitor on their console. This also works. If you're a uni student or any sort of photographer, whatever you do, content creation, this little baby is definitely a must have. And I appreciate them sending it out because I still use it. Don't get me wrong, I still use it. I think that's pretty much everything I've covered. If you do want to know anything else about this or have any questions around this, leave them in the comments below. Great to start a conversation and love to hear your thoughts on if you use docking stations, what kind of docking station you go for or what sort of ports you'd like to see in a docking station that they don't have already. Definitely go to the comments because I'd like to engage a bit more as well with the community. So go and do that. And if you like the video, leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next upload. And I appreciate you all watching. Remember, there's a link for this down below in the description and also the website, so go check them out. Capture, create, captivate. That's what we've done here today. And I'll see you all in the next one.